All right, so we're back at Nathan's hideout. How's it going? And you're not as bad as me right now. I can tell you that with how many fans you got, but you're getting close. I can say that. Yeah. I mean, I, like maybe not half, definitely more than half of what I got without a question, but same time. <laughs> At least you got it more organized for the most part with the motors hung up and everything. But um, yeah, the last time I hung up with him, he picked up this. Yeah, I was... Um, um, oh, no, not this. This one over there. That yeah. one there, yeah. And what, what else was it? I think that was it, actually. Oh, yeah, no, that wasn't there. Where is it? That Delta 2. Oh, that's right here. Yeah, he got this classic white Delta 2 with... They came with uh, cane blades. Which I wanted to kill him over. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that he had money on him and I didn't even, and I was, sorry didn't let me know. But yeah, this is the um, the white, and the classic white and brass Delta II. That was part of, the, that came with the Vic and the Panama 5 that I got off the oh, I was still jealous that he got the Vic and the Panama 5 because the Panama 5 was variable speed and I didn't even know they made those like that back in the day so yeah those are that one I'm definitely going to keep yeah. but uh mostly because I wanted the 5 blade adapter on it too because that's definitely something I've been looking forward to try out on my Zephyrs mm -hmm. so but yeah he also got a free carousel he's going to he had, now has 4 of them just yeah, I got 4 of them he yeah. got this rainbow thing which might be a Harbor Breeze one I'm not sure but it has these G that it's from 1999, 2000. 2000. I yeah. think. It's like around that era. Such. Well, it said 2000 right on. Oh, so. gotcha. Yeah, I know sometimes they say two. They say 2M sometimes, which I'm, I'd assume is 2000. Mm. Kind of pretty hard to say to know what to put like for that year. So just writing 00, zero you know what I mean? Yeah, I know M in Roman numerals is 1000, so. Yeah. All right. It's definitely getting the space filled up more. But, um, there was um, a handful yeah. of fans that I uh, got from a New York trip um, around the beginning of the month. Ooh, I didn't see this one here. This, uh, right you got a lot of bubble, bubble glass shades, I'm thinking now. Yeah. You got this one, that one, and is that about it, or you have even more of them? I have a few more right there, too. Would well, you be willing to sell some, actually? Or? Well, actually, yeah, okay, I definitely would have some use for them. Try on some like Casablancas and such, mm. but yeah, there's the collection. Now I grabbed these uh, three red fans. Yeah, those are Emerson, but I forget what oh, they were. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I never did take a picture of it and post it to the group to ask mm. about them. They have K fifty five motors in them, and um, the original owner said they were all actually painted over, so that's not the original finish. But these were all the blades. So I find I really like the um, the blade arms. Yeah, the blade arm design. They were definitely white originally. That's what they said they were, yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, you can kind of tell. Usually if it was, like, chipping off, you can see wood, but if it's white underneath, mm. kind of gives they said, I think it came from, like, a salon or something. Or, I mean, actually, if were. I thought they're red, that kind of, that actually makes sense, because I do know, like, a lot of salons would have red decor and such. Mm. But, um, yeah, oh, you got a Hacienda, too. Yeah, I got that, um. A little while back then. See, there was that, that place I was telling you that was near the same Wills that had a new tone with a round globe on it. Now that I'm looking at this, I don't think it was a Hacienda. I'm pretty sure it was either a Sea Island or a Vic, or a, um, not a Vic, a Verena Deluxe. Hmm. But I, I don't know. It's just like I never got to see it up close, especially the blade arm. So it was like from a distance, but um, it was antique brass. So it kind of even made it harder because I would have been able to see. If it had like a square in between it with the wood finish, mm -hmm. but anything brass my just one's hard to see. But yeah. Well, I mean, wait, did you? Where is the? I know you had the anti brass one. I don't know where. You... That's right there. The uh, veranda deluxe. Oh wait, you don't have an anti brass one. No, just oh, posh. I keep thinking it was an anti brass one that you got. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's an, that's like the next one I gotta find. Uh, I might be able to snag one off of Mark Wilson. I know. I think he has a few. But, um, yeah, he has this LED light on that banana fan. That's the only uh, fan that's currently powered up in this unit. It just plugs into that outlet there in the corner, but I have it powered up just so so, so I can have light yeah. in that corner. I think I'm at some point I might put another one like here. Oh, let's say you might. Yeah, it would be good. Yeah. 
But yeah, it has done a few more, I'd say, since the last time I showed this different video. Oh, I was just gonna let you know, I probably, I would not do that with the gloss Infinity Blades. Oh. Especially because that gloss can make me scratch up a lot easier. Mm. Oh, these are for the Panama? Yeah. Oh yeah, speaking of which. Hmm. Yeah, I always find it funny, like, my Hunter fan that I gave to my neighbors, they had it like this, and I think, you'd think the screws would mount right here on each side, but no, they do it right there. Yeah, that's really weird. Well, at least they have that in the old whoop to them, at least that. Mm. But yeah. So he has a Hunter Blanca Panama. <laughs> Yep. But uh, it has a spinner motor in it and such. And he got this for free off of a job, which is pretty nice. Yeah. Honestly, I, like, I definitely am planning to buy this off him at some point once he tests it. Because I've always want. I don't know, just... Hey, it would even make a... I'd even possibly even at some point take down those four Maker Airs at the... Storage and even probably put this up there at some point. Who knows? Hmm. I mean, I don't think it'd be heavy. It'd be like f those four fans put up together is more heavy than this, in a sense. Yeah. Well, who knows? I mean, I might, I might not, but... Yeah. Do you know if it's a four... Did you test this, the other one before they took it down, or...? No, this these, were, these were already taken down um, by the time... On, like, first day. So I'm wondering if this... I know they so. have... I think these are four-speed, not three-speed. Um, you can tell by how many wires are inside. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's five wires, so yeah, it, this is a four speed. Interesting. But yeah, it's from 2014. But as you can see, it does have a pretty. Looking at the bottom, you think it's just a regular size, like Spinner Motor Hunter, like this one there, like the 172 ones, but now it's definitely a lot bigger. I remember um, Cole, on his video, like someone was saying, oh, I prefer the X, I prefer the older Panamas and such. And he was inquiring how, I think someone was saying, like, oh, like, how's the performance on these compared to the older one? He's saying that this outperformed the XLP, which to me, they're about the same, but I really, I know the XLP is a little bit weaker from what I hear, but yeah, it's that, both more than the fresh one, Panama there. Yeah, the XTR. The, yeah. the XTR one, yeah. Now, compared to these... That one's heavy, too. Yeah, I yeah, it's like a huge cast motor or something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that's a now, when speed you, one, too. Now, you when you tested these, did you notice a big difference in the air movement, or were they about the same? Um, I, I can't remember. To be honest, I think they're I roughly the same. I think I, I don't totally remember off the top of my head. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I'm even noticing the switch, the motor housing on it is a lot thicker, too. Yeah. Cause the one of my in my bed Panama in my bedroom was more it's more like this, not this. Mm. Like that's another way to tell if it's an XTR Panama or not by the motor housing. Yeah. But yeah, you said that this one was actually quiet, which is nice because mm. a lot of these are known to have like make a lot of noise. Yeah. And this one is four or five way too. You said right. It is. Yeah. Which is nice. I I actually didn't think they would be able to do that with them, but. And there's this Delta 2 here, and there's another one. These are some videos that he's, fans of, that he's testing on longer down ones that he has not made public yet, so definitely stay out on the lookout for them. Yeah, I've just been really busy um, with editing and everything. Stuff, yeah. and everything. I still have to um, just put them all together, piece them all together. And you know what you should test next, to be honest? You should test this guy next. The industrial. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to rig up a uh, speed control for that and everything. Yeah. That would be a good, definitely a good one to test. And now, to be honest, I probably... Think about all the fan motors you're hanging here. i probably be careful, like, in terms of hanging all heavier fans in one spot. Right. Like, yeah. how you have it right here. Mm. Like, maybe at some point, I'd probably, like, maybe spread them out. Yeah. That way, you can kind of equal out the weight. Yeah, that is true. Because at the same time, it's an older building now, I think. Right. I think one of the neighbors upstairs crashing down. Big oh hi! <laughs> so this is a thing that you would need to install in an original, right? Yeah, that's the uh, hooks that they come with. Now would this work for like an industrial fan too, or? Um, I need to test on my industrials. Like I don't think this would work on most of them. I'm not sure because I know with this here, 
um, with these screw holes that just zips right to the box or to the wood or whatever, and then the hooks of the fan just hangs right off of that. I see. So what basically works the same as like an original? I mean, as an industrial for the most part, depending on what which one it is. Potentially, yeah. Do you have more than one of those? Is that the only one you got? I got a few more back here, yeah. What, did you saw one of them? By any chance, I would buy one off you take a new test. Um, maybe, yeah. I'd have to, uh, um, think about it, though, because granted, um, I'm not sure if I have one for each original or not, but, um, yeah. this is the main one I've been using the test with, because how it has the two right. screw holes and the outer ones here right, actually right. perfectly line up with a fan box and everything. And but the other ones don't? None of the other ones do, no. Interesting, huh. And this one actually came... At this, the same this time, This is the one yeah. that came with the uh, brown R&M original. So right now with there. these, you could literally just screw it into a wooden beam and it would still be able to support an original? Yeah. Te I think technically that's how you're supposed to do it. Huh. So, yeah, I mean, because I can always just take down that box on my test mount. So it wouldn't have to be like that one that you use for testing. I'd even be able to, like, buy off one that just goes straight to the wooden beam and such. Yeah, like a wooden beam like this. If you just zip it right in, yeah, that'll, that'll hang no problem. Yeah, cause like, well, the one I have in the basement, have you seen it? It's like that really big, thick one. Mm. So, like, it's not, it's even thicker than this type of wooden beam and such. Oh, yeah, that, that'll that support, no problem. Oh, definitely. So how much would you sell one for? I don't know, maybe like 10 bucks or something. Much. Do you, you want to, I'll buy it right now if you want. Because <laughs> I get, because the KDK industries, I know they kind of have like a U-Ball type thingy too, like this. Mm. Or not a U-Ball, but they kind of have like a downward that, a, a mounting system that's kind of similar to it. Yeah. But if I was to, like, just do that on it, it would, like, still do the same thing. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's something I've been really trying to get tested on a lot of my industrial fans that, and such. And since I know how to test them now, mm. with the control, yeah. that's just, like, what I'm missing. Because with these um, originals here, they're not even actually being hung by those... Uh, you both, you just have them, right. like... They're just mounted directly off the chair. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I think I have a few more left over here. Um, but yeah, no, for 10 bucks, I'll definitely buy that off, yeah. They're just being hung right off, right off these. Huh. Yeah, no, those are pretty strong, I know that. Yeah. I mean, plus, it's not, see, like, that I would not use if you were going to actually use the fan, but just to hang them, yeah, I know that's fine. Yeah, just storage, yeah, that's all I intend on doing it for. But even to, uh, if you wanted to test it for, like, these for even briefly, I know these are, like, 97 cents at, like, Walmart. Oh, wow. And those are pretty big, though, to put on an industrial, I feel. Hmm. Like... Hang, cause they would hang down a lot more type yeah. thing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. With my ceiling being a lot lower in that basement, I'd, I don't want the industrial to chop my head off and such. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else you've got. And, I mean, I think I showed that new tone last time you were here, because you have saying yeah, it's been there and such. That one's been there for a little while. But, um, yeah. Oh, and that's a four-speed panel right there. Right? Oh, no, three-speed one, which mm. I still want to buy that off you at some point. It doesn't have a cap, though. Push it up. That's not an issue. I mean, you can you can always find like I usually just like steal one off of other just to test it and such. Mm. Cause now I have like the glass oak blades from like another fan. I've been thinking of doing that with a Panama. Mm. But they're older glass oak blades, and so I just figure they'd sell pretty cool on them and such. This over here is that um, really rare uh, family handyman family uh, magazine fan that came with. Which yeah. one is that again? That family handed me? I don't know. Oh, yeah, the uh, gear driven one. Gear driven one. It was a right. lot smaller than I thought it was. Because I know. Um, yeah, speaking of which, yeah, Nathan got a gear driven fan, the same type as that Fanimation. Because yeah. I know the only other person I've seen on YouTube that has one of these is uh, the Fan Man on YouTube. The Fan. T H F A. Oh, yeah, from a while back, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. They're spitting it, you know. <laughs> Dang, that, like, this is my first time seeing one up at close and such, but. Yeah. And yeah, these are just like one speed. Yeah. It's just like an on off pull chain. But... They were so bad, that's why they didn't sell them for so long. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Dan, like, had got well, I don't know if it was from the fan man that you and such, but um, yeah, that's this is just really what you got the museum. Didn't. Like, there isn't even any date, indication of, like, a date or anything. I know they're, like, from the early 80s. Mm. Even from the Family Handyman magazine, I think these are only, like, 40 bucks. Yeah, they were cheap. They are cheap, yeah. But it sucks, because they are actually a nice-looking fan. It's just, they suck. 
Made in Hong Kong. <laughs> I can already tell if I tested this downstairs and my mom was sweeping. Oh. But yeah, if at some point, if you tested, you mind if I borrowed that for testing? Yeah, that'd be fine. Tell me. Not to keep on I mean, the obviously I know you're not going to sell that one. Yeah. But, yeah, and there's these two rock ports he has here as well. I'm going to snag one off him since he got for free. I'll probably take the second one at some point, but I think I'd let him keep one of them. That way he can use for to test for his channel. This is the, and that's the down. That's the huh. down art it comes with. Interesting. Kind of hangs... Um, a U-bow type style mm -hmm. with a J-hook. Uh, but yeah, yeah, also the brackets themselves are just complete plastic. Are they really? Yeah, they're plastic. Huh. I actually never would have thought that. I mean, the fan's all plastic. And the way you get the fan is all plastic from what I remember. So. Mm. And how much did he get these three? Because these came with the rock part and such. Yeah. So you pay like 20 bucks for the, this and a bunch of fan parts and such? Yeah, these two rock ports, that Summer Breeze, this, and a, just a bunch of random scrap fan motors. The whole entire bundle was just 20 bucks. Wow. And where are those scrap ones? Did you already scrap them? or? I already tossed them, yeah. yeah. The, all the other motors were completely defective um, in different ways. I remember one had the wires cut completely, like right at the base. Yeah, making it unsalvageable. What any? What are they, What were they like? Just GE spinner motors? Yeah, it was all like this. Spin, not just spinner motors, like G, like just generic stuff, like tank tongue stuff, like that, yeah. or like the light tax thingies. Mm. I was really pissed with one of them though, because one of them actually was a big childhood fan for me. Um, uh, back when I was a kid, my grandparents down in Florida they used to own a uh, co uh, condo. Huh. Or Right. And uh, right in the kitchen, right above the dining room table, was this white uh, generic builder-looking fan that came with a four spotlight and had rounded blades. Just like that one there? No the spotlight? Kind of, sort of. It, it had wider vents. I, th I think it... I remember you saying it had like swirl vents like this one. Something like that, yeah. And, um... In but my, it had round blades, yeah. It had rounded blades, and I remember um, the uh, inside of the motor had like a little orange uh, sticker. You'd see it going around. R orange or red? It was like an orangish reddish color. That's why text definitely. Mm. So it's so and, um, yeah, it's definitely fan, not in this. Then. And then this fan too still had that sticker on the motor yeah, kind too, of. So I could tell it was the exact same thing, but the um, motor housing on. On not the motor housing, the switch housing was just snapped off, oh, damn. making it unsalvageable. So I was really I was yeah, that is a light tax one. That. Yeah, cause my um cousin they had like a GE vent fan like this, but it didn't have side vents. But it actually had a bowl like it, which I found very strange because you usually want to see that on them, and it had a red tag on it too. Yeah, and such they replaced it and put a chandelier and they tossed it in the backyard and the blade snapped. But it had rosewood blades and once on the other side was white. But yeah, the bull, kind of, yeah, the bull like it. Um, this Florida fan, it was all white. Um, yeah. Except for the motor. The bull like it wasn't like just like a, a frost one. It was like a, a ribbed kind of like um. How do I say it? It was like a clear glass type one, but like. Hmm, how do I say? It's like those. It's kind of like that type of glass. If you get what I'm saying, like those four ones that you have in a clear right there. Yeah. Like that type of glass with a little bit brownish tint to it. In a sense, it was kind of like that, yeah. But like that was like the type of bowl light it had on it. Hmm. Not like the newer ones that we see nowadays. It was like an older looking bowl light. Oh, yeah. Which I found interesting. And then they replaced it and they tossed it outside. It's actually, it is, I don't know if you remember that. There was like this video I did a while back. The fans I don't see anymore. Side shows that I have. Oh, that yeah. first, the one that's in the first video and the thumbnail, that's the one I'm mentioning right there. Hmm. For those who remember that, who have watched that video many times. I, that's something that a lot of people might... My channel liked the videos of, and there's actually another one coming out soon from of more recent stuff that I've seen that's no longer being seen no more sadly, but um, yeah, you still got a lot, quite a bit of stuff to test, but it looks yeah. I once I t finish testing all the uh, long down rod long down rotted fans at my uh, girlfriend's place, I'm probably gonna start with the ones here on the floor just to get them off the floor and definitely let me know when you're testing that black R M one. 
Mm. Well, I, really want, I actually want to see. From there, just do all the things on the ship. I was going to say, do you have a round globe at all, or no? I have, like, a few round I was going to say, too. even a round globe would look really nice on that, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, I actually have one right there. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Mm. Could it so, yeah, like... Yeah, I was going to say, like, round globes are, like... On the r and ones, I like them a lot. When it's on these type of originals, like the Heavy Hunter ones, I'm not the biggest fan of them for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's because, like, when I was a kid, I saw two brown ones that were R&M at that Salem restaurant. And they had, like, two brown Savoys painted in the back. But um, they had brown globes on them, and I was like, that... But I noticed that they had these black tags on them and such, too, not the brass-looking ones like these ones have and such. Now, that brown one did. That's an R&M one, too, right? It is. That's what I was going to say, yeah. yeah. But oh well, twenty minutes in, so um, yeah, let me <laughs> end the video here. Cause most of it you've seen already, but I think I just do a quick update on what he's gotten since. Yeah, to also show the fan that he kind of, I want to say he snagged on it. He just happened to be there <laughs> and grab it, so we want to leave it behind. Sorry, man. No, it's... hey, no. I'm glad that we got it because one, to make another trip out of just to get it type thing. Yeah. And two, the cane blade and the glass was not worth leaving behind too. Mm. So, like, you know, at least it's in the collectors. And right, this was behind. another one that I just got recently. Yeah, Emerson, oh, yeah. Uh, 1895. It even comes with a little Emerson pole chain, which I've never seen before. See, I've never seen this type of Emerson pole chain, but the one that I my um premium has one, but unless it's upside. Is that upside down? Oh, no, it wasn't. That, that's it. Yeah, it's an older one, huh? Wow, nice. Yeah. And you can even see the inside of the motor coils are wow, all yeah, exposed. So if you stuck your finger in there, you're going to get zapped, guaranteed. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get to this there. We're keeping people from t getting close to the coils and trying to touch it. Yeah. But yeah, no, those I know are pretty powerful fans. I know a lot of people like them. I'm not crazy about one, but if I also had a chance to get one, I'd get it. Just would have. Mm. Just I know they are pretty cool fans. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and stay Thanks tuned for more videos to come.